You're watching News 19. We start with breaking news. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Limestone County. I'm Tamika Alexander. I'm Ben Hoover. We're learning more about a shooting involving police and a man that happened tonight. News 19's Daryl Burke joins us live and has learned even more details since he joined us at 9. Daryl, a lot has transpired out there tonight. Walk us through it. That's right, Tamika Ben. The scene here on Songbird Drive, as you can see me uh, behind me, is still very active. But we did learn that Limestone County Coroner Mike West did confirm that a person is dead from multiple gunshot wounds. Now we're learning that this didn't begin in this neighborhood. The Athens Police Department says they got a call about a man threatening a homeowner with a gun in a different area. The department says officers made contact with the man and tried to convince him to give up his gun. The man refused and ran to this neighborhood on Songbird Drive. Athens Police Department Chief Anthony Presnell says the man shot at officers before running again, this time between two homes in this neighborhood. After officers attempted to get him to drop his gun, Chief Presnell says the man was shot and killed by police around 7.30 this evening. Residents I spoke with in this neighborhood say this is something unusual for their area. My sister has been living in this area for five years, and I've been down here for two years at the end of this month, and we have no problems. You can walk around here at night, at midnight, and still have no problems. And according to the Athens Police Chief, the State Bureau of Investigations will oversee the investigation into the deadly shooting. For now, live in Athens, Daryl Burke, News 19. Daryl, we appreciate your work out there tonight to recap Athens Police say they shot and killed a suspect after they say he first ran and then fired on officers and then after ordering him to drop the gun, they say they used a taser on him. The police chief says despite being tased, the man pointed the gun at officers and that is when they shot and killed him. Stay with News 19 and WHNT as new information is learned.